all simp all the time. What is going on everyone? Thank you for checking out another SGN video where it's all sim all the time. And today I am bringing you a video for Madden 21 on five ways you can enhance your franchise mode experience. Now we all know that franchise mode in Madden has been lackluster for several years. And these are five things that you can do to really help add more fun and intricate layers to your franchise mode. But first, before we get into that, please, if you are new to the channel, click that subscribe button. Helps me out. Means a lot to me. I have a lot more content ready to go for you know Madden 21, 2K, whatever you like. And I do have a PS5 pre-ordered, so you know I'll be dropping that content on November 12th. So otherwise, we got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and get into the five ways you can enhance your franchise mode experience in Madden 21. Let's go. All right, so number one, play as a coach. This is a short one. We will get into further details why, but number one, play as a coach. Number two, you need to have some good XP sliders. Now, it doesn't really matter who's you use. You can find some on Reddit. You can find some good ones on Operation Sports, but you need some XP sliders to make sure you get balance and how players progress, uh, including with, you know, when you get, especially get a couple years into your franchise, this is to help create balance with the ratings. It's must have. Make sure you get XP sliders. Number three. This one is regarding weekly training. You are going to always simulate it. And these, this goes hand in hand with XP sliders. You want those XP sliders so you get a solid base. And then what we're going to do here is you can go ahead and change the three players that you focus on. And you can even change the game plan. But the one thing you will not do is actually play the training. You are going to get bonuses that the CPU does not get and help you develop your team faster than the CPU and allow you to be better. So you are always going to simulate your training to get an even balance in the progression of players all the way across the board number four is your season goal now this needs another setting to go with it which is in your league settings and it's to allow user coaches to be fired make sure that's turned on because for this you are always going to set your season goal to commit to the playoffs no matter who you use no matter what your team is always set it to that because that incre that you know makes it a little bit more of a risk factor when you play, and you could get fired and have to relocate to a different team. It just adds a whole other level of intricacy. Number five is my favorite one, and that's upgrading players. So for this, you will not upgrade players after every practice or after every game. You can only upgrade your players three times. After the preseason, after week eight and after the regular season and make sure you have auto progress players off so the cpu doesn't automatically do it but here's why players don't just naturally get good after every single game so right here i went ahead and this is after the preseason and you can see i have all these players that i can upgrade that got better via four weeks in the preseason so it makes sense to boost them up after the preseason going into week one the same can be said for after week eight you have players that got better up to week eight, and you progress them after week eight. And of course, at the end of the regular season, but players don't get better week to week. They have good games, but they don't consistently get better. So make sure you do that. It adds a whole new dimension, and it's kind of fun when you actually can go in and be like able to upgrade all your players that you've been playing with. So that is it, fellas. That is the five ways to enhance your Madden 21 franchise experience. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. And as always, stay tuned to the next video. Peace.